So the ACASH price is still correcting and this was to be expected guys because we had the bearish divergence with the higher highs in price while the indicators were making these higher lows. And now when we look at the MACD histogram, we can see the bearish momentum candle is bigger than the previous. So it is more than likely we will see $1 be hit, maybe even the 786 at 80 cents. But I just want to say at the $1, it could be the low before the next wave up begins. But for that to happen, guys, we want to see seller exhaustion. And when I say seller exhaustion, I'm talking about the MACD showing us the lighter shade red candles. And this would align with a divergence, a bullish divergence forming. So we need to wait and see what happens over the next couple of days, guys. But this is what I want to see happen for price to continue to the upside, which is what I think we will see. And the reason why I say this is because if we look at the total crypto market cap, the total three, which is excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, if we look at this divergence on the MACD, if we look at the recent low in June, and, and we look at the lows we've put in in August, guys, this is still a higher low. We are not in danger just yet. And I do think a incredible bounce is coming to the crypto market. Now, if we look at the weekly, there is a possible scenario where we do get lower, okay? But if we look at the weekly MACD, if, if we see this lower low on the MACD hold and we put in a higher low on the MACD histogram, guys, this will be a classic bullish divergence and the total three is looking like it's getting ready for an incredible bounce. And that is why I, I think a lot of altcoins are getting ready for a big bounce. Now, I just did a video on Adam speaking about why I think Adam and Cosmos is getting ready for a big bounce because it's at a very important, crucial area. But looking at the total three on the daily, you can see we are more than likely going to be testing what was once resistance because in the previous video I spoke about, I spoke about we broke a very important support. And when you break a support, that flips into a resistance. But as we go into the higher I mean, into the lower time frames, you can see the, there is momentum here to the upside building. And you guys should know by now what happens when you get above the ribbons. So if we do start to see the total three, four hour candles start to close above the ribbons, I do think a big recovery is on the table for Acash, Cosmos, and a lot of different cryptos. But that is what I'm looking at for the ACASH chart, guys. We want to see seller exhaustion start to build at around this $1 area because we are basically getting to the correction zone and we should be expecting a wave up. The other thing I want to remind ACASH stakers, Osmo stakers, Adam stakers, there is the Gitopia airdrop happening. So I think maybe in like another week or it could happen sooner. But the good thing is, to be eligible for this, you did not have to have a large amount staked. So everybody should be eligible for this. The snapshots were taken. I'm not too sure if this was in April or if they've done it in August. Because I don't know what the format is of the date and the month. But there is a Gitopia airdrop coming, guys. And also the Acash Mainnet 6 upgrade completes in roughly two days it could also be on september the first the estimated time is september the first but at twelve thousand at twelve million six hundred six thousand oh seventy four on that block is when the upgrade happens and i'm not too sure what it will do for price because guys we've pretty much caught a massive move in price already so this correction happening, I don't think it's anything to worry about, guys. But what we want to see happen over the next few days is the seller exhaustion, and I will be here to cover it. I've just done a video on Adam if you were wanting to check that out. I'll be doing another video shortly on Bitcoin Cash because I see it as something I want to start putting some money into because it is at levels that are catching my interest. That's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Peace.